got no blast. Jameson Irish Whiskey is the best-selling Irish whiskey in the world. I didn't know that. So Yeah, I, I didn't know that either until I started researching the story. Something many people may be unaware of when taking a shot of overpriced whiskey at their favorite dive bar is they are lining the pockets of descendants of one of the sickest, most degenerate pieces of shit I have ever heard of. In 1888, the Ottoman province of Equatoria in Sudan was cut off from resupply by a revolt. In response, Sir Henry Morton Stanley, one of the most famous explorers of the time, was sent to rescue the leader of Equatoria. Some of you may know the name Henry Morton Stanley, or perhaps just his famous quote he is credited with. Dr. Livingston, I presume? Tagging along for the expedition was a man by the name of James S. Jameson. The illiterate... Illiterally named James Jameson was the great-great-grandson of the famous John Jameson, founder of the Jameson Irish Whiskey Company, and heir to the family fortune. James used this fortune to pursue his dream of being a famous explorer, primarily by riding the coattails of real explorers. <laughs> as he tagged along with the Iman Pasha Relief Expedition. That wasn't a mistake. It was just racist. Yep. Jameson <laughs> made a nuisance of himself <laughs> by lugging around too much junk. Stanley himself even refused to hire a local... To carry Jameson's shit, forcing the heir to either <laughs> haul it himself or leave it behind. Obviously not the type to do any real manual labor, Jameson left his beloved collectibles behind. Uh, so I was actually reading through some of the letters and journal entries from the expedition itself. Yeah. It's not Stanley or Jameson's journal, uh, but it's somebody's journal. I can't remember off the top of my head, but there's just a line that says Jameson uh, or Stanley refused Jameson's request to hire a reporter for his collectibles. Jameson was forced to give away all of his collectibles, including his large rifle. I guess he was carrying along this ridiculously oversized like elephant rifle. Uh, because he, you know, he wanted to be an adventurer and explorer, mm. so he's carrying around this big ass gun, probably compensating like, for something. Trying, you know, fashion before pleasure type, type yeah, of deal. Yeah, exactly. He was tactical Looking cool instead of tactical. Fuck yeah! Aside from being an all around pain in the ass, Jameson was also somewhat of an artist. To pass the time, he would draw portraits of things he saw around him, such as plants, animals, and a group of cannibals butchering and eating a little girl. <laughs> James Jameson had expressed interest in witnessing real-life cannibals in action earlier in the expedition. One of his fellow travelers advised him that the best way to see cannibals do their thing is to buy a living human and ask the cannibals to eat them. Fuck. So that's what James Jameson did. Good man. For the lowly... Really? Dude, I've, I've wanted to be a cannibal for a well, long I mean, time. Being a cannibal is one thing. Just wanting to... Okay, because... Well, not, I don't want to All, eat someone while they're alive. I just want to eat. I want to try out human at least once before I die. I mean, you've got ten fingers and toes. You can just pop one of those things it's, off. It's different. For the lowly sum <laughs> of six handkerchiefs, Jameson acquired his unwitting victim. Now, I feel so bad if we if we start laughing and now we need to laugh and fuck around because that's that's what the show's about. That's how you we're, get we're just this. a couple. It's of, about to get dark. Yeah, it's saying. about to get real fucking dark. Okay, so James Jameson wants to fucking. James Jameson eat wants a to human. see somebody be eaten, and in my okay. personal opinion, this was a sexual thing for him. I I think that Jameson was one. He of was the, turned on by it. He was one of the the prototypical. Uh, he was one of the founding members of the Vore community nowadays. Have you ever seen Vore? No. It short for carnivore. Oh. And it's it's. Uh, porn that's all based around either eating shit eating somebody or well not shit that would be like scat porn german eating, porn. eating flesh yeah uh either being eaten or eating somebody else fuck for the lowly sum of six handkerchiefs jameson acquired his unwitting victim a 10 year old native girl he bestowed his horrific gift to a cannibalistic tribe and requested that he be allowed to observe the ensuing atrocity fuck the tribe happily obliged but he didn't. Eat, he didn't eat it. He just wanted to watch someone eat someone. According to eyewitness reports, no, he didn't partake in the the eating. He just stood to the side. It, I'm positive. Like n they were so uptight about this type of stuff back then that I'm sure he was standing off to the side, just fucking beating his meat like crazy while he was watching this. But nobody wanted no to write that down it. because they were yeah. so uptight. Yeah. Because even I went through and he I was might have trying, had a blanket on. Uh, like a he I mean, he, like, he, also, he probably traded a couple like a. He kept, cold shillings for a, for a, for a native like. Uh, well, no, he had seven. Sheep, he had seven handkerchiefs, blanket. and he gave them six and kept one just to 
very cover. politely cover yeah. himself while he beat his meat. And cool. he, he told everyone he only had one arm the whole time because he, he kept it inside his shirt so he could jerk off whenever he wanted. For the entire expedition, they thought that he only had one arm because he was beating off the whole fucking time. Yep. According to reports from an eyewitness, the tribesmen tied the girl to a tree and stabbed her to death. Fuck. Once thoroughly stabbed, she was then butchered and eaten by the tribe. Instead of reacting in horror as most Westerners would, Jameson simply stood nearby and sketched pictures of the events. Mm. And so beat he his was fucking drawing. Man. I'm sure he was jacking off the whole time. Well, he probably well, jerked in off. between drawing he, pictures. Yeah. But he, why is he drawing the pictures? They To jerk off later. Exactly. Jameson wasn't content with his hasty sketches, so he used them to produce... So he used them to produce more detailed illustrations of the act. He then took the drawings and displayed them for other members of the expedition. One man testified that... Go ahead and do the quote. Quote, There were six of them, all neatly done. The first sketch was of the girl as she was led to the tree. The second showed her stabbed, with blood gushing from the wounds. The third showed her dissected. The fourth, fifth, and sixth showed men carrying off the various parts of the body. <laughs> Fuck. Why are you laughing, Joel? It's fucked up. Why are you laughing? I laugh when, 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 when I feel uncomfortable, I laugh. Okay. The reports of the event were understandably regarded with horror by the contemporary authorities. Jameson wrote a rebuttal in his defense, claiming that he was, indeed, present at the time, and drew a few sketches. He even corroborated the payment of six handkerchiefs, <laughs> but claimed that they were not a payment, but given as proof that the cannibals would go through... With the deed. Whatever the fuck that means. Next time you order an Irish car bomb from your favorite pub, maybe request that they use Bushmills or Tullamore Dew. That is, unless you want to support the family of a degenerate piece of shit. <laughs> and fucking James S. So Jameson years ago. had the balls to up and die before he could face trial for this shit. Did he, they try to get him? Oh, yeah. There was a, a full investigation into it because other people in, in the expedition reported that, that he did that he this, did that it. he purchased But did the, he do it? He even admitted to himself right, that but, he did it. But he didn't eat her. No, he didn't eat her, but he he purchased a 10-year-old so he, girl. So he's like the driver in a bank robbery. If the driver in a bank robbery purchased another human to watch them be butchered and eaten by a group of people. Yeah, but you can per back then you could purchase what you wanted and do it, did what you wanted. Yeah, you could, which is fucked up fucked also. Up. Yeah, but, so, but even the driver of a bank robbery is still penalized the same as the people that actually robbed the bank. Guilty that's, that's by association, point. but as far as I know, the driver in most bank robberies don't watch somebody get slaughtered and eaten and beat their meat and draw pictures of it. True. From my experience with I, bank robberies. I would like to see those pictures. I actually... I Did you see them? No, I tried to find... Uh, There's no copies of them. No, none of them are left. They've, they've all they weren't drawings, dude. Really that's what he said his nut was. <laughs> He was blowing his load, and then it was like like those, you know, the, what do they call them? That's, the what, he, that's what he kept the seventh handkerchief for. <laughs> he called them paintings. Because <laughs> they were paintings, they were memories for him. Why are you disgusted? This is my art. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like a Jackson Pollock painting, except that's everything <laughs> is a single color, which is off-white and Jesus. yellow over time. Okay, so I thought ahead. Yuck. Yeah, right? <laughs> so it does turn yellow over time you sick bastard why am i sick because you keep that shit around <laughs> fair enough hey you know what everybody everybody has their hobbies you can collect whatever you want it's not illegal i'm just a collector yeah it's not illegal and nobody needs to know about that except for me well now everybody knows about that i got a blast